Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of game Skyrim. Today we'll continue where we last ended and we're gonna find the Greybeards. The Greybeards have summoned me to the monastery of the High Hrothgard on the slopes of the throat of the world. They seem to have learned the mysterious power that gained I gained when I killed Dragon outside White Run. Speak to the Greybeards. But before we're gonna do that quest, we're actually gonna go to the city and try to find some kind of merchant where Yarl we can me to be your sell housecall. some stuff. It's okay. An honor to serve you. Oh, it's Lydia. I'm a fane. What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold, a hero. The title of thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. What does a house call do? So what do they do? As my fane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. That sounds great. Follow me, I need your Take help. Away. So, we have like a follower, our little protector running around with us in the adventure. I'm not sure if you can have more of them or not. Got some problem there. I'm not sure if you can have more of them or not. She's doing the work that she should do. No offense. Let's get going out from here and we're gonna try to find a merchant in White Run. We're gonna go and after that meet the Greybeards, but after that thing, I'm not sure what quest to get out after there because I have never done the part when you go up to the Greybeards at Hrothgard, but uh, we will see. I'm gonna try to get more quests that are not so commonly shown in YouTube episodes. I'm gonna try to get out small quests all around through the world. I, mean, I had a really long loading there for some reason. So, me and Lydia are gonna go out for an adventure. If you don't like her face, you can download a modification that actually improves the quality of the girls' faces in this game. They get some makeup and stuff. Now I'm just kidding with you. They just look way better. This place always gonna run around outside from this uh, white run uh, casual keep thing. Okay. Well, map updated. Okay. No, I don't care. That's usually where he stuffs himself these days. Okay, when you run around Skyrim, if you don't want to talk to people, don't look at them or stay at them, they will start talking to you. So let's see if we can see, get some kind of map inside of this town. Local map. Amon's house, house, clan. Should be good if there were some special... I'm not really sure we can find a merchant. I think there's actually a merchant outside of White Run that I know of, so let's get out of there. We can find out from this jungle inside of White Run with these mods that I got with the trees. Where am I? This place can get real messy. I'm not used to it. Oh, here are actually some people. I'm not sure in Skyrim if you can sell the same equipment to the same people, so let's talk to this guy. What do you have for sale? A bit of this and a bit of that. Yes, when the items, items above the divider line belong to the vendor. Items below belong to you. To buy or sell an item, select it and press E. So, okay, it seems this guy can handle food and ingredients. Oh, I don't remember what they said again. Let's try. Go removed. So I guess I bought that, so. Okay. Oh, you stupid me. Here it is. Banto stuff. Food. What? Take a look. So, I'm just gonna sell all the food I got. You can actually do some We're alchemy hunting. and stuff and uh, try to make cool potions it's and some things. So let's see what this girl got. Some weapons, I think. That sort of thing. Okay, apparel. Let's see. We're gonna, we are using them at the moment, but we can... I don't really want to sell the gems or those ingots or those things because I think that I will use them in the future. That's why I don't want to sell them. You take care of yourself. You don't need to worry about that. So many people speaking around in this town. Well, I guess that's food as well. Here or something. Hmm. I wonder what this place is. Ban Red Mare. Let's go in and see what this is. Have never been in here actually. But this game is, game is really great if you want to go around, explore and find a vast amount of different Come quests and Just stories the throughout the world. This game is great. Oh, it seems this is some kind of inn here. 
some cool guy sitting by the fire. Could be my lost brother. Could be. He's using an axe or something. Oh, some sweet music. Mm, yeah. Well, let's get out of here. We go and have a cheer with them later, drink some beer and have a great time. So you know nothing. Nothing about So many stories going around in Skyrim. I wanna get out of here. Why why don't I just use the fast travel? I'm so stupid right now. So what was we gonna do? We have sold some stuff. We're gonna go to the stables. Because I'm kind of sure close to the stable there is a guy that you can sell and buy stuff with too. I'm not sure if there are some armor or weapons because that's the thing I think I want to sell because they wait a lot and just having them in there are just a waste of my maximum weight that I can put on and carry around. Here's some horse. Really stupid. Well, Lydia, steal a horse. Let's see. I think it's somewhere, somewhere here. I think some of those uh, cat people. I don't know what they're called. Welcome to you. I think it's him. Do you seek to make a? Take what a do you have for sale? I actually went to kill all of these guys, but you can't kill this guy. I tried, but it wasn't possible. Oh, so this guy actually sell and um, buy a great amount of stuff. So let's sell some, get some money. Since I'm not gonna use that weapon, I'm just gonna sell them. Hunting bow. What the longbow do? Sell longbow, sell orcish, because I'm using this one, actual white run. Does 10 points of magic damage. Not using that, not using that, not using. I'm gonna save this because that item is so cool. Reanimate a weak dead body to fight for 60 seconds. I actually <laughs> reanimated some uh, rabbits when I was playing around in Skyrim. And I can use them as a pet and attack people. Crazy little bunnies. So. And I actually got my microphone stand today, it's really great. It's uh, so great because now when with my blue yeti, I don't have to have it in front of me. It was very annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It was very frustrating having that in front of you. Now when I don't have that, it's so much better. I can move around my hands everywhere and every day. So let's sell some stuff here. This is kinda nice. Destruction spell costs 12% less ca to cast. But since I'm not a caster at the moment, I'm not gonna save that. So let's just sell some of this stuff. I want, don't wanna run around with too much stuff I'm not gonna use. So let's save the scrolls, I don't think they wait much anyway. Here are the ingredients for like making alchemy and stuff. Combine them to different potions. I'm gonna show that in video also, you can experiment with making different things. Some books I've found. Some books that you find actually increases your... Uh, Welcome. Your Take skills, but as you see here also when we kill the dragon, get the bone, dragon bone, they're worth kinda much. Actually not as much as it says when you're not at the vendor, but I'm gonna save this one, even though they wait some. The reason for that is, at least this ones, when I talk to my brother, I think you can do it something with those as well. But you can like craft some special armor with those as well, so I think I'm gonna save them to experiment with that later. I hope that you will come These are the people that I killed again. last time. So, uh, the thing we go now to meet Greybeard is it's actually very far away. You have to go around, as far as I know, what my brother said when he was here. You have to go around this whole mountain here and up somewhere here. You have to go like around. You can go up like here, I think he said, but there will be like blizzards and stuff Do going all, our, all on you and like damage you like yeah, so exactly. much. All so I don't think that's a good idea. So. Let's just take a long walk. And now we can't fast travel. Since we've never been at that location, we can't fast travel. I wonder what this thing is. Activate. Infernal Horse Tuning Stone. What's that? You don't currently have a Conjure Infernal Horse spell. Would you like to purchase it for 5000 gold? If I had it. So I guess that's an Infernal Horse you can have. We will check that out later in the future of the episodes where I come longer and I have a lot of more gear. We're actually very early in the beginning since I had to remake my character from the beginning. Because my game got old like crazy after those mods I installed. The last time when I was installing mods for Skyrim I just took one of those packs that was some kind of realist pack. With tons of graphical things. But there were also tons of like weird things like, oh let's see. Get some uh, Star Wars into the game. 
Jedi lightsabers. Sure, Star is a great thing, but not in Skyrim. Sure, if I'm gonna play around a bit, but yeah, it just messed up my client. So I removed that, made a new hero, and restalled my PC because the game was constantly crashing at various places and always the same places. But that don't happen now. So we see it's a huge mountain we're gonna go over. That's Mune. God, I'm huge. Almost looks like that could be Mars or something. Maybe it is. I don't sure. Oh! Swimming down a river! <laughs> I wonder if you can do like in uh, Age of Conan where you can actually. Oh, it seems very hard. In Age of Conan, you can actually swim up towards the rivers. There's a common waterfall down and you just. I'm gonna swim up that river! And it actually works. <laughs> it's faster when you're in Tortage when you're gonna go around. It's not so important that. The realism of it, but it's just weird that they made it that way. So let's kill it, man! Hey, this they actually could take almost more hits than the wolves can. Mud crab. Oh, there's something floating there. What's that? Sluggerfish. Hmm. Let's see what this guy's got. Let's take them actually. I don't know if you can make some nice things with them. Maybe we can make some armor and shine some armor. Make the armor stronger or something with them. I mean, they are like crabs after all, and they probably have kind of thick, uh, thick protection on them. Let's see if we can get up from here. Maybe I'll r r run a weird, really weird way. And we should get a level, so before we kill that wolf, let's level up our character. So we got 120 stamina and uh, 100 health. I think I'm actually gonna get some more health so we can take a bit more hits because in the end we're probably gonna need some more health anyway so let's increase some oops wrong one 200 let's increase some here 40 percentage more damage with 200 weapons that's great let's deal with those bloody wolves and the tier 3 rating in Ashikona went really well. I couldn't uh, participate in the second part for reason, uh, real life issues with uh, a test that I had had for the school, which I had to finish. I got a deadline the same day as I got the test back. And I scored 9 of, out of 12, so I got a C in that uh, test there. So I'm really proud of that one. I didn't think I was going to reach that, but it's great. I'm surprising myself from day to day when I do a test. Normally, when I went to school before, always I scored like a, you know, the thing that is like, oh, this is uh, okay. You are over the line, but it's not much further. But this was mainly because I didn't care much at that time when I was that young. But now I have a goal for my school, and that's way better. So if you're out there having troubles with school, try to in some way find what you want to do later it's really hard it takes time and you might not never get to know exactly when you, what you want to do but in my goal at the moment at least if you're wondering is to become a game programmer for a game studio in the future I most likely want to work at smaller studio not as big ones it could be a great experience to work to work at those big ones as well of course but I think I want to work at a smaller indie developer because I really want to be creative with, with, with working with them and if you have watched the latest indie games they're really great the great stuff to do so I actually been into this oh don't go too close to those little little big giants what's this looks like a door almost let's see what's up here big fire but actually I think those giants are normally n neutral to you but I think if you go too close and mess with their stuff, they're probably gonna go and punch you away. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna fly far, far away. Go to the moon and back it to be, be my baby. That far you're gonna fly. My brother actually got hit by one of those and <laughs> he actually like almost flew all the way to the moon. Crazy. Let's go down this hill. It's a really long path to get here, and I tried to ride one of the horses because I actually find a, one horse that I did not need to steal. But the horses... Ed. Get out of the way! I hate to the movement of the map thing, I wanna click and drag. But, uh, yeah. 
Let's go on. Let's get down here. And also there are coming more Age of Conan episodes. If you're watching this and wondering why it's only coming in Skyrim, well, it's coming Age of Conan episodes very soon as well. It might be uh, two episodes of this day when you watch this video. I'm thinking about making two this, this day, to be honest. Because it's really fun and now when I got my new microphone stand, it's really amazing. And uh, I think it's great to have uh, more than one game at your channel, but to make the gameplay good you have to like the games you're making. If you're good at the game, that probably will increase uh, the chance of the episodes being more, like more quality of it and people like to watch it. And give a reason for people to watch it. I hope people like watching my video. I know everybody don't watch the full time of the video, but I'm trying to get better for every day. What's this place? Hmm. Let's take a stop here and go in here actually. So let's go and check out what's in here. I don't know what's in here. But that you will find out in the next episode guys. Not much done today but... There will be a dual episode of Skyrim today. Hope you had a great time watching this episode. And the second episode will come right after this. So take care guys, have a great day. This is Bernthal, goodbye and cheers.